They've fled a war zone to enter a disaster zone. A week ago, it would have only taken a few hours to pass through Burkosovo. But with Croatia now regularly closing its border, the wait has turned into days. It's so, so bad, so bad. Just uh, open the door, okay? But people are sleeping on the streets. You just see blankets everywhere and you see people trying to find shelter wherever they can sleep. Yes. Those who do have shelter are in paper-thin tents, dozens crammed in. Some of them have lit fires, but with very little wood around, they're using their own clothes to keep them burning. Hypothermia is a big concern. They are getting sick because they're cold. They're not prepared for winter at all. And yet, amongst the chaos, there is still a sense of optimism in the camp. But no matter how demanding the journey is, they believe they're going to a better place, wherever that may be. Anywhere, save my children, save my life. Around once an hour, a bus arrives and the border opens. But the bus takes just 50 people. Thousands of them are waiting. These people have just crossed the border into Croatia. Here in Apatovac, there is far more shelter. And we're being told they're only being held for a few hours before being bused to a train station where they're then taken on to Slovenia. It may be days before those stuck on the Croatian-Serbian border can pass, but with Germany in their sight, hope is unwavering. What, what would you like to do there? Oh, many <laughs> dreams. Many dreams. That are likely to be many months away. Natasha Rexelby, TRT World, on the Croatian-Serbian border.